Greetings, it's me, Mr. Frost, and today I want to talk to you about a contemporary artist who lives in Ecuador. His name is Javier Perez. Javier Perez combines everyday objects with simple illustrations to create a series of imaginative and unexpected composite drawings. Composite means made up of different parts or elements. These drawings inspire us to think differently about the things we see and use every day. In Perez's illustrations, a paperclip could be a trumpet, grapes could be balloons, and notebook bindings could be teeth. Your task will be to use your creativity to think outside the box and look at everyday objects from a new perspective. Here are some more examples. Those were pretty cool, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I want you to use your imagination and look around your house to see what objects you could use in a new and different way. And we're gonna use those to make a drawing. The cool thing about this lesson is the objects that you use don't become a part of your drawing. They're not glued on there or taped on there. So you don't have to worry about ruining anything. Let's get started. All we need today is paper and some objects and something to write with. I'm going to use marker so you can see what I'm doing. Now one object that I found was this tape measure. And I had a cool idea when I saw this tape measure of something I could make it. Can you guess what I'm going to turn it into? Watch. There you go. I made it into a snail. Did you guess? Alright, let's try another one. This was an old necklace that belonged to Mrs. Frost and some of the parts fell off of it, but I had a cool idea when I saw this one. Let's see if you can guess what I'm going to make this time. I made it into a fishbowl. Did you guess that one? Alright, let's try another. For this one, I'm going to use a couple of these socket tools that I found in my garage. I thought those sockets would make pretty neat eyes for an owl. Alright, let's try one last one. For this one, I'm going to use some of these brightly colored round Legos. I made them into a gumball machine. They'd also make good balloons or wheels. The neat thing about this project is you can make your drawing a pretty quick sketch. You don't have to color it in. Take a photograph of it when you're all done to show the composite image. Remember, you can send me a picture of your drawing either to my email or by text message and I'll include it in the video that I post of student artwork this week. Alright kids, I can't wait to see what you come up with. See you next time. Bye!